we have seen this x-ray before and a bilateral perihilar diffuse opacities fibrosis interstitial lines and cardiomegaly have been discussed before so we do not want to go there again have a close look at left costophrenic angle the notice the gap between chest wall and lung parenchyma the density between chest wall and lung parenchyma is running almost parallel to the chest wall here also notice absence of classic meniscus sign which would suggest a true pleural effusion this is a classic sign of lamellar effusion lamellar effusion is accumulation of fluid in loose connective tissue between lung and visceral pleura and not between visceral and parietal pleura if it was a fluid between parietal and visceral pleura it would be regarded as pleural effusion at the same time left costrophenic angle is not blunt which is a classic sign of pleural effusion notice the right costrophenic angle is scalier unlike a true pleural effusion laminar effusion is not free flowing the laminar effusion is uh, associated with heart failure cardiomegaly in this case would explain the presence of laminar effusion thank you very much